Okay, so going back to what we did in class today, we're taking radians and degrees and we're trying to convert from one to the other. So the key thing that we have to remember is that 2 pi radians equals 360 degrees. I could even simplify that by saying that pi radians equals 180 degrees. So when you all came up with your formulas, Abby and Allie used the concept of a proportion. And if I use this concept here, I can create a proportion here. This is when I have, I have the radians, and the D is when I have the degrees. So if I have the degrees, I can solve for the radians in terms of pi. And if I have the radians, I can solve for the degrees in terms of pi. If I do the math on this proportion, I get what Jared's way was. Now we had to, upon closer inspection of Jared's, we realized that he got this fraction incorrect. So we have to remember that the degree goes above the 360 in order to find the radians. But either way, you're going to be able to work this out. So the question is, is what happens? Let's like check some of our work here. We already know a couple of radians. So let's try to find 35 degrees. 35 degrees equals how many radians? Well, we know that the degrees, we have the degrees, so we can either put the D in here and solve this proportion, or put the D in here and solve this equation. Either way, you're going to get the same thing. So let's put the D in this one. 2 pi over R equals 360 over 35. So I have 70 pi, because I'm cross-multiplying, equals 360 times R. I divide everything through by 360, and so I get R equals 7 over 36 pi. Now, that's because I can simplify 70 over 360. So that's how many radians there are in 35 degrees, 7 over 36 pi. So what do I have here? I want to check my work. I know that 35 degrees is between 30 degrees and 45 degrees. And I already know my radians for these guys because we actually worked those out today in class. My radians for 30 degrees is pi over 6, and my radians for 45 degrees is pi over 4. So the question is, is 7 pi over 36 in between? Does it actually work here? Okay, so what can I do? One thing I can do to make this a little easier for myself to check is to just simply put my fractions into my calculator. So this is really one-sixth, and this is really one-fourth. One-sixth on my calculator, if I do it, is 1.6 repeating. And I know that one-fourth, I don't have to put that on my calculator, is 0.25 repeating. So we're going to hope that 736 is between these two numbers. Let's put that in our calculator, and it is 0.194, so I must be right. So that's a good way to check that this is a true statement.